Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I am Pankaj Rai and in this video, I am going to talk about how you can create navigation drawer kind of look using Motion Layout. Motion Layout is really helpful to add animation to your Android app with a very minimum effort. If you are new to this or if you have never used Motion Layout, then you can check out my previous tutorial where I have talked about how you can get started with Motion Layout or even how you can add complex or the simple animation using motion layout so here we'll see about the navigation drawer so it's not exactly the navigation drawer but it is trying to replicate the look of navigation drawer a kind of fancy navigation drawer so here you could see a button at the bottom and when i tab on it you could see the icons are getting revealed from top to bottom and when i tap it again they are all going from bottom to top and going behind the scene so it's giving a look as if it's revealing and it's getting hidden when tapped once again and this white screen it's nothing but the fragment and all these animations this revealing and setting the visibility to gone all this is a part of uh, main activity so let's see our motion layout file so here it is our motion layout file where Initially, we have this frame layout where we are launching our fragment, this entire white screen, and at the bottom we have the image view. And also, all the options which you might be seeing here home, cart, and all those things they are already defined here. You could use either text to use, button, whatever you want to use it here. And because it's a motion layout, which is nothing but a subclass of constant layout, so I need to manually give the constant for all of them. And to avoid that, I'm using flow. If you want to know about flow, then I'll give link in the description where I've talked about what is flow and what are the features that it offers. So the general concept here is that to avoid linear layout and align the views either vertically or horizontally. So here I'm aligning all these text views vertically and initially making the visibility to go gone. Now let's see our motion scene file, which is doing all the work for us. So here the transition is on click. We can have it either on click or on swipe. So here it's on click of this icon. So when the user taps on the icon, it goes from start to end and when tapped back once again it goes from end to start and that's all because of the action click as toggle with toggle what these mean is like start the animation from start to end and do it reverse of it when tapped once again so by this way now we need not have to write this logic anymore in the main activity file or in the fragments all these things is automatically taken care of where what should happen when you click on the first time and what should happen when you click on the subsequent time and now let's see about the start and end so in transition we give our constraint set the starting state and the end state of the animation so during the start state of this animation we want this screen to occupy the full width and height all this white color part and that's why this frame layout is occupying the full width and height one thing which you might be observing here is that i'm not defining this as frame layout or text view or button that's all because it just need an id and now based on this id it can correlate with the view type whichever you have defined in the motion layout so this constraint is occupying full width and height and the next view is this menu this is again an image view which is aligned start to the start of this frame layout and bottom to the bottom of this frame layout with a margin bottom as 12 dp one thing which is visible here but not here is the transform so here in the transform i'm rotating this to zero degree that's all because when I tab on this and when it's going from start to end, it's getting rotated to 180 degree. And once it is doing the reverse animation, that means coming from end to start, I want it back to its original position. And that's why the rotation defined here is as zero degree. 
also the FL options. So all these options are having the visibility to gone. Initially, when start state, it's gone, and the end state, the visibility will be visible. So this is all about the start state. Now let's see about our end state. End state is a place when we tap on this icon, we come to this state. So here, this frame layout is no longer occupying the full width and height of the screen. Rather, it is having a constraint as bottom to the bottom of parent, top to the top of parent, and end to the end of parent, where height and width are defined in terms of percentage. No longer hard coded value like 100 dp, 200 dp, nothing like that. So the advantage that it gives is like, even though it is running on a 5 inch device or a tablet, it can accommodate itself because now it is occupying the width or height in terms of percentage. Also, this individual views, which you might be seeing in this fragment, for them also the height is defined in terms of percentage. And that's why if you could observe, then height of this image is getting reduced when I reveal this option. So it's getting increased and when it is open, then it's getting reduced. That's all because for this also the height is given in terms of percentage inside the fragment. Now the next is about our menu option. So this option, IV menu. So during the start state, it remains to this position and at the end stage, it should be at the end of the screen. So constant defined here are like end to the end of frame layout and bottom to the bottom of this. Earlier margin top was 12 dp, now it's 8 dp. Also rotate it to 180 degree. But one thing which you might be seeing here is like I've given minus 180 degree. That's all because I want to animate this in an anti-clockwise fashion. So you might be seeing this. When it is going from start to end, it is rotating in anti-clockwise. That's why this negative is given here. Also, the visibility for all these options are visible now. So that's it. Within 100 line of code, you got this animation, which looks like a fancy navigation dryer. That's all possible now because of the motion layout. So that's it in this video. If you have liked this video, then do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel so that you'll not miss any video for the upcoming tutorials on Android, Kotlin or Firebase. Thank you and stay tuned.